Okay, so today it is make me a pallet on your floor. Uh, traditional one, I believe, and there's no one knows who wrote it, but I'm familiar with the Mississippi John Hurt one. We are using the Fingerstyle Blue Songbook by Steve James here. Um, if you don't have a copy and you want the temperature, get yourself a copy. There's the, the front, it's a great book. Great introduction to Fingerstyle Blues. Some easy ones, some not so easy ones, some slides, there's some open tuning. So, yeah, uh, my student and I are working through this and we're currently on this one. So, if you're working through it too, hopefully this video will help. So, we start with an A dominant 7, using fingers 2 and 3, okay? Now we are alternating thumb technique, okay? And we also have an E to an A6, and then an A7, okay? Back to an A7, two bars, and back to an E. To a six, and then on the second page we slide in to a, it says E type two here. But I would suggest using your uh, D seven form. You can use fingers in, in the book. It says use fingers three and four, but you can just as easily use fingers two one three. Okay, and then a B B dominant seventh there, and then we we'll go back to the A. to the E type 2 or the E7, C sharp dominant 7, whoops, B7, E. Okay, <laughs> so you have the book, that's why you're here. So we're going to start, let me walk you through the fingering, okay. So the first bar this is our chord form, the A dominant seventh, but we want to have our first finger behind the third finger on the second string ready for the pull off. And before we, sorry, the hammer on, and before we start, we're just going to raise that third finger in the air, and we're going to play P on the fifth. Sorry, in case you don't know, P, I, M, A, E, or Q, depending on what tab you use this. We letter the right hand and number the left hand, opposite if you're a lefty. Okay, so. Starting from the A dominant seventh form with the third finger in the A, first finger behind on the first fret of the second string, we play thumb. Then we play the index on the second string, ready for the hammer on. And as we arrive on the second string, we're going to use our thumb over the strings four and two. Now, this is an option. What we can do is we can play in two separate ways. My student and I, we're going to do it this, this way thumb on the fifth. And then on the second beat, the thumb plays the fourth and third string. However, if you would wish to pinch, you can do it differently. You can go pinch those two notes, thumb and index. I personally think it sounds more authentic. Play the thumb through on the fourth and third string. So let's go back to that starting point. Thumb on the five, index on the two, hammer to the second fret, and as you arrive, let the thumb play the fourth and third string, middle on the on the first string. That's your first two beats. One and two and. Okay? One and two and. It's the trickiest part in the whole thing. One, two, and three, two. Let me get the little finger out of the way there. So, so as you hear the, the hammer on arriving on that uh, C sharp. So that's thumb on the five, index on the two, thumb on the three and four, middle on the one, and then thumb goes back to the five, thumb plays the four and the three. So in your beat count there's one and two and three and four and, okay? Second bar, keep your chord where it is. <coughs> now you're gonna hammer with your fourth finger on the first string. Lift, lift your third finger. Okay, so in your, in your beat count, one and two and three and four and, okay, so, whoops. Now here, because I play for manga, I, I always end up, but I don't suggest you do that. You go into an E form and use your little finger, okay? So, let me just show those first two A bars again. Okay. 
Now we're coming into an E shape and we're going to raise our first finger ready for the hammer on and it's a similar movement. We go thumb on the six, index on the three. Now as we arrive on the one with the hammer, thumb plays the four, middle plays the two. You know, very similar technique to what we did on the A. Too soon. So three and four and. So there's your E6. We add your fourth finger to the second string. Okay, stay where you are. Uh, six and one, ring and thumb or P and A. Now here you can pinch four and two or just use your thumb for the two strings. Add your little finger to the D there for the E dominant seventh. Next four bars are pretty much exactly the same until the end of the eighth bar. So we start again. Here's where it changes on the fourth beat. Just drop your third and fourth finger to the second and second fret on the third and fourth string. Fourth. Slide in and we'll play. We're into this position now. The E dominant seventh. Okay, but we won't need that. Don't even need this, we're not going to play it, but it's just good practice to put it on. And so that's six and one, P and A. P plays the three now. A, six, and then P again on the three. So it's P and A, P, A. Sorry, I missed it. P and A, P, A, P, A. So you're all in now between the six and the three. B7, here we are going to pinch. We've got a B7 shape on, just follow the chord gram in the, in the tab. And we get 5 and 1, P and A, P and I, 4 and 3, P on the 5, and now 4, 3, 2, P, I, M. Okay, and then we do the same as we did on the A before previously, we're just on a different B. Okay, so that's our thumb and index, hammer, thumb to play the two strings. Middle, thumb, index, thumb on the two strings. Keep your position, add your little finger to the three on the first string. Thumb and middle, pull it back, thumb and middle, five and four. Lift, thumb, uh, thumb and middle, five and one. Index on the two, thumb on the three. Okay, just walking through this. Uh, as we go, and then we, we're on the E again, we're sliding in to the, the E, the D7 form, E7 uh, chord. Now from here, we're just going to pivot over, and leave those two fingers where they are, and you put your second finger on the fourth of the fifth, first finger on the uh, third of the fourth. We're not going to use that one, but we'll just put it there for good practice, and then we go P, G, so that's five, one, three, and then pull the shape back. Five, one, three, lift. Same fingers. Thumb, middle, thumb, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. Back to an E. First finger raised in the air. So that's all your sections in bits. Always, you know, you can rewind these videos into the sections that you're working. Let's just go through it again, very slowly. So, so I'm from the A dominant seventh.
the end. Okay, hope that helps. If you have the tablature, uh, if you don't, I suggest buying the book. It's a great book for beginning blues finger style. As I previously said, I think we could do a little bit of the alternate and pick the open tuning and the slide is in there too. So we're going to be going through this book. I believe I've already put the videos for a couple of them. Betty and Dupree, Shortening Bread. I'm not sure of any others, but uh, we're doing the finger style first and then we'll be moving on to the slide at a later date. So I hope that helps. Uh, I am an online guitar teacher. If you would like face-to-face -face classes, please get in touch with the link in the description below. Uh, failing that, please consider liking and subscribing. And failing that, just enjoy the video and have a lovely day. And any uh, comments, feel free to put them down below. Toodle pip.